Hey guys, uh, sorry it's been a while since I've made a Mac video, but uh, I've been busy, different stuff, uh, uh, recent news, I got a new MacBook Pro, it's pretty awesome, uh, you know, not using my old PowerBook G4 anymore, I finally got an, in, you know, finally have Intel and all that stuff, I can finally run stuff like Final Cut Pro, Xcode, iWeb, all that stuff, anyways, today, uh, I'll be reviewing Media Shop for Mac, which is recent, and the Mac App Store, which is also a new thing. So, let's start with Media Shop. Now, for those of you who don't know, Media Shop is uh, basically a presentation software, uh, which is kind of a bad name for it because people usually think of PowerPoint and Keynote when you say that, but like, it's uh, for. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's for church mainly, you know, with all the uh, words, songs, and all the videos that they play and all that. Media Shout was actually made for church presentation, like church, uh, church organizations, church presentations, and youth groups and all that. And uh, my, my youth group uses an older version, 3.5. This is 4.5, and uh, we need to upgrade. But uh, if you follow Media Shout at all, then you know that this, that version 4 is very different than version 3. Version 3 of course is a, uh, it was basically a bunch of rows just going down and that was basically your presentation and you added it by uh, using tools around the rows and stuff like that which is, it it's, works perfectly fine but you know I think this is a very very uh, big step up for me to shout very good uh, decision. Now Basically, you have three columns. You have your media column. You have your uh, what do you call it? Your outline column. That's what I call it. And your basically the visualizer visualizer column. In your media column, of course, you have of course choose all your media from your uh, your computer, start from computer, or you can go to specific applications or well, specific types of media. Of course, audio and since they made an entire column for your media and uh yeah and all your presentation stuff it's very organized it's very uh pre laid out it's very good uh so you have your music here and uh it's very it it, it automatically has all the music grouped together on from your computer in the music column of course photos uh sorry movies and also it's very good uh, you have a straight internet internet display thing, so you don't have to be have the internet pulled up to display onto the screen, which is very good. There's one reason why I'd like my church, my youth group, to upgrade. Of course, then same with media. You have all your songs, and it comes with a, a, a ton of songs actually. Uh, when you download it, it's actually a very quick download for all this stuff that it comes with course verses text cues and just cute random cues that you add in uh, in your I think they call it the presentation column I really don't know I call it the outline column uh, this is where you drag and drop all your media all your cues and uh, everything that you're going to be presenting uh, and basically organize it there and then edit each thing uh, from within this column, well not within this column, but you know, I'll, I'll show you later. And then your visualizer column, you have what's running on the screen uh, at that moment, and uh, the preview of what's running on the screen, or the preview of the next thing that will be that in the uh, list of presentation. Now, I'll make a random presentation. This is really random. Uh, let's see, I want to add a movie. I just go to uh, movies. Um, I go from iTunes or my movies folder. Uh, uh, from iTunes. Uh, I have this music video right here. Let's see, it automatically comes up with a little uh, box. And you can see, like I said, you can edit it straight from there. And the Q editor, it opens up in another window, which is very good. Uh, let's see, now I want to add a picture, pictures folder, 
let's do this picture right here. Okay. And let's add a song. Let's add tunes. Christian song, Christian <laughs> sorry. All right, there we go. All right. Now, as you see for each thing, instead of double clicking it like it would in Media Shop version 3, it has play buttons, which is very good. As you can see, from, sorry. Right here, it's playing what's, what will be on the screen right then. Force pause, pause and stop down here. And let's see. And then let's see. Uh, let's see the uh, preview for the next thing is displayed right here. Let's actually go ahead and play that. And then for the next thing, we just hit play on that. And then we go to that. And then for a song, we're just playing the song. It's just a black screen, which is all right. But let's say we want a background for that screen. Stop it. Let's say we want a background for that screen. Just go to edit, edit it. And up here, that's just files. Up here, uh, it's already um, selected to the type of editing that you're that you're doing. You're uh, editing a cue for a song, and um, it automatically has a screen for the background. So all I have to do is click browse. Let's do this one, and it adds adds a background. <laughs> I don't know why applies there. I guess it's pre. I don't know. Just click OK, and then now when you play it, ta-da! There it is. Your picture is playing. Your picture is on the screen. Your song is playing simultaneously. It was that easy. I love. I love this version. I hope our church upgrades. Even though we don't use Mac, you know, we just still upgrade. And the other things down here too. Countdown clock. I have not. Uh, dove into that yet. I, th I don't know if that displays on the screen or if that's for personal use. I think it's for personal use, really, but I'm not sure. Uh, key text. These are uh, emergency buttons. If something goes wrong with your, with uh, the screen or whatever, or not the screen, but <clears throat> something goes wrong with the computer, something pops up. Uh, I don't know, like a like a. I don't know if you if you're on the uh, if you're on a website and like all of a sudden an ad pops up for some reason, you can just click one of these. It's like an emergency button. You can display the media shot logo, a black screen. It'd be kind of funny. You could do this, or you could just end all programs. Everything will go black. Everything will stop. And that's very good for any uh, for any screw ups you know a computer may have. I mean, computers mess it up. And of course, I don't really have to go through these. It's just the same. You know, process. Actually, I'll, I'll go to the Bible. Of course, Bible is almost the same way as it was in Media Shout version three. Just choose your book, choose your chapter, choose your verse, then click done, and then yeah, yeah, and then you just pop it, and then you don't drag it into the um the sorry. You don't drag it into the middle column, the uh, presentation column. You just play it from right there, which is actually very good. So it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't clutter up this middle column. And also, it's just very, it's very simple. Like you don't have to drag it in there and and then play it. You just, um, you just can simply play it from right there, and it make, makes it very easy if you need just need to add a quick bio verse and all that, you know. It's just very simple. Like I said, it's very simple layout. Very, very good. Very big step up. And of course, you have your text cues for your uh, song. You got your song words. And of course, you edit it would be browsing for a text cue, <coughs> a pre-made, a pre-made uh, song text or whatever. And if you hear that in the background, that's my new dog barking. She's scared and all that. And of course, random cues. That's all up to you. So that is basically Media Shot from Mac. That is, I love this layout. I love it. I highly recommend it for any church, even outside of church. I mean, even though it has, even though it has Bibles and all that. I mean, you don't have to use it for church and all that. 
it's a very good presentation software it's very um, it's very organized very simple to use it is a bit expensive this is just like a trial run that I have you can download that but yeah it's 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 just a very good presentation software I do not want to save now the Mac App Store this is as you know a recent edition uh, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go over much of this. It's if you have any affiliation with the uh, iPhone or iPad app store, it's pretty much very similar. Uh, let's see, of course, you have your featured have you have featured uh, apps on the uh, home page, and of course, it's, it looks very much like iTunes. If any of you notice that, but yeah, it's it's. Um, it's very simple. You just buy it straight from there, or you could click on something to read more about it. Of course, top charts, top free, top paid, categories, your purchases, and it's very good. You have your updates. It's very much laid out like the iPhone App Store, the iPad App Store. It's um very simple, very very uh, easy. And for those of you who say you don't like Mac. Because it doesn't have a lot of games. Well, this makes it really easy to have a lot of games on your Mac. I mean, it's just very good. And of course, all these other things too. So those are two very well, very well laid out, very well organized, and very useful apps for the uh, Mac. Uh, coming up, I will be reviewing two iPhone apps uh, called Download or Light. And uh, Team Viewer, free. Those are very. There's those are two amazing iPhone apps that I use a lot. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So this is Sniper Jake One, and I'll see you guys later.